If you tell me two years ago I'm gonna be facing a situation, face, I wouldn't believe it. It sounds like a movie. University student, actress, and human rights activist, Chinese-born Anastasia Lin is taking on yet another challenge. Millions have been imprisoned, tortured, and sexually assaulted. Her father was receiving threats as a result of her outspokenness against human rights abuses in China. It is possible to stand against tyranny. Whoa, whoa, one second, I'm gonna take on my braces. China's number one public enemy still have braces. She was convinced that she was going to get to go to China and that she was going to have this platform to speak directly to the Chinese people. She finds out that the pageant has been relocated to Sanya, China. I had to choose between silence and my hope for a better China. The plan was to pose as a tourist with the camera around my neck, hit record to capture whatever I could. China does not recognize a second passport. She crosses the border, she is Chinese property. I would like to ask India to press for answers. The more visible a target she may have become, ironically, the more protected she would become. There's one contestant missing from the event. This looked like a colossal mess. What is China doing on the Human Rights Council in UN? My platform, speaking out for freedom of thought in China, was what got me here. And I need to live up to it. She's going right into the eye of the hurricane. Her own life is at risk. You don't need to be Miss World to be able to have the world hear you. My story is only the tip of an iceberg.